first saw this, I saw this in a, a book of pottery, of old pottery, and I really like the shape, especially with the handle. And actually the original piece was a little bit bigger and it came out about like this. And so the opening was about this big. So when the handle was a little bigger, you could actually, an adult, the whole hand can, can carry it. And what I read about it is that it was actually used to gather water and they would bring it into the home into a bigger pot. And so it kind of looked like a, maybe an ancient uh, uh, water bucket or like today, you know, the galvanized um, uh, a bucket of water or pail. And then the design that's on there, they call it a, a basket design, which again, if you remember how baskets were made, they would weave the, the basket in and out, kind of like going in and out, in and out, it's, it's that kind of the same pattern. And what about this? And this, sometimes, again, different um, pueblos, and I think this one represents like rivers, like going down, and since the pot, holds the water, they did a, a like kind of like a river pattern. And again, you have some of the, the rain. They call it hatching, but then they, it would always represent rain coming down. And the Pueblo that made this is the, the Membres. And they were famous for making bowls that had animals, humans, um, insects. But then you, once in a great while, you'll see some of their, their fine uh, jars and vessels that they made. Yes, yeah, yeah, this area here is, is lightning, sometimes they call it river, and then this whole area could even be like a giant cloud, like a cloud burst on that one there. That one, I think this was just more of a, either a geometric design, or sometimes they would, uh, mountains, like a mountain scene, and you get like the little mountain peaks, some of them get bigger, bigger, and bigger. This design, again, representing rain and then the swirl of the wind coming down. And so sometimes, like in New Mexico, and probably like at your house, you can kind of see when it's going to rain. It gets really windy first, and then the rain comes, and that's what that represents, the swirling of the, of the rain coming down. What about all of the black that's around? The black, I think it just kind of, when they made the the rain coming down, it just kind of just made its own little pattern, really neat, um, neat little pattern. That I, I really like the way that one came out. It, it's, you know, it just shows, shows you know, rain and thunder, and, and, when, and since it does contain water, it just all blends together. Yeah, that's a nice piece. I like it. One of my favorite pieces that I made for this year. area in New Mexico and they call it like central New Mexico and the closest town is they call it Silver City and, okay. and, and so the Membres and again they were kind of a strange uh, Pueblo they were the only Indians that they painted inside uh, like cereal bowls and, and, and yeah they and then they would have you know all sorts of animals humans again um, just a variety of different designs that they use inside their bowl and one of the one of their uh, their best examples is a lot of your burial pots on the bowl they would punch a hole in the center of the pot and then they would bury with the person and they believe that when a person died, that the spirit of the pot would go with that person into the to the next world, and he would have something to use to to drink out of it or to eat out of it when he passed on to the other side of the um, you know like a second life when they they all they believe in that. Yeah. Yeah. Remember yeah. the Gila cliff dwellings? Those were membranes. Yeah. When we went to the Gila Cliff Dwellings, those are the yeah. Membrace people. Yeah. And that's one yeah. of the most popular designs. Uh, you, you see it on, people would, would put them on aprons, they would use um, puck hats, you see them on t-shirts, you know, all different animal designs.